Hi guys, Andy here again with my uh, Nexus 5. I have a new ROM that I'm trying. I thought I would talk you through some of the differences and some of what makes it um, a good ROM. It's from the 12th of December and it's Android version 4.4.2 and it's Cataclysm ROM. Now we'll go straight into the Cataclysm settings. Um, with many of the custom ROMs you get to sort of mess about with the quick toggles which are those. What I like is you can resize them, so I'm running them at 80%, and you can also enable a fourth column. So basically it's made all of them slightly smaller squares. Um, it does have some extra toggles, so it's got all the sort of normal toggles. Then it's got some custom toggles, look, as you can see. Uh, so you can ADB over Wi-Fi, 2G, 3G toggles, NFC toggles, rotation toggles, so I've got on the system starts on the torch, USB fast charge, Wi-Fi hotspot, um, so those are those are extra. Um, what else do we have? Lock screen options, I don't actually use a lock screen but there are the, the options you get there. Smart radio I thought was interesting, this will keep your radio in low power mode when mobile modem is unused. Uh, this applies, for example, when mobile data is off or you are connected to Wi-Fi. Now, I found that turning this on actually basically killed my uh, my cell connection uh, when the screen was off or I think even when I was connected to Wi-Fi, it was saying emergency calls only. So I guess it might be handy to put on when you're in low battery, but uh, it looked a bit odd to me in that it was, cut, it was shutting things down a bit too aggressively, perhaps. But anyway, there, there's an option there. Um, <clears throat> soft keys fade mode. Now if you watch your mod, you see how those faded out? Um, so I've got it set for five seconds, you can change it to whatever you want, but effectively as you saw, it just means, so give it five seconds, three, two, one, and they fade away. Now you can go to immersive mode, so the entire phone now is in immersive mode. I've lost all of my navigation buttons along the bottom. All you do to get them back, swipe up, it's still got the faded, so that actually kind of, let's turn that off, it's probably better that you swipe up and you can see your, your buttons, they will then I think, there we go, fade away and should I want them again, I swipe up and there they are. Um, I used them for a while but I actually found it quite annoying having to, it, it look, I think it looks good, uh, but I find it quite annoying having to do that each time I wanted to use them. So then we get battery style. There's a few different options here. Not a huge amount of options, but for me the important one. I just want the text. I just want the number. But you can change to icon and text look. You can have circle with text, or you can hide the battery totally. Um, I quite like that you can mess about with the the stock keyboard. So. Uh, you can change, you can have a, a number row, which I, I don't see why more keyboards don't. It's a really good idea. Um, in portrait and landscape, the different uh, different settings, you can change the size of that. You can change the size of the keyboard itself. So you can make a really small keyboard or a really huge keyboard or a normal size keyboard with a small set of row uh, numbers, which is what I've got. Screen recorder. Um, that. Oh, you can resize the navigation bar along the bottom. See they've gone tiny. And uh, app ops. So this got put in by mistake apparently by Google and then taken back out. You can still get it in this particular ROM to see what's what's accessed what recently basically. Um, so you can back up all your settings and you can restore your settings and I'm going to go now into the miscellaneous one which is, I hadn't, I hadn't seen this the first time I've been using ROM and um, I didn't realise basically how much there was in this miscellaneous bit. So I won't sort of stop at everything but it's got the usual things like long press back to kill an app, long press recents to go to task list, volume rocker wake so you can use the volume to turn the phone on, volume rocker for music control, volume rocker for curse control, um, some really handy stuff in there. I'd say just bar clock, centre the clock, which is what I've got to look. Again, I'll just let you have a look through. There we go to the bottom. Status bar brightness control, so you can just run your finger back and forth. Can you see that? Let's change the brightness. Uh, 
Um, and that's I think that's pretty much it for the uh, for the differences. I don't think there are any of the differences are left in any of the menus. Um, as you can see, it's nice and slick as you would expect on the the Nexus 5. So it's, that's not necessarily because of the ROM. That's just how uh, how KitKat is on the Nexus 5. But there we go. So that's uh, oh hang on, why was my why was my notification bar hidden? What have I done to hide my notification bar? I didn't even didn't even realise I'd turn that on. I have somehow. Um, immersive mode is not on, so why? Uh, well, I'll, I'll find that. I must have ticked something so I was going through. So there we go, though. That's uh, Cataclysm ROM. I'll leave the link down below, and uh, why not give it a try? It does. It comes with Google Apps installed. Some. Some uh, ROMs don't, you have to flash G app separately. This one does, um, so it's very simple to install. I did it from a clean wipe. You might get away with a dirty flash, as in just flash it over the top so you don't lose your data. But generally, if you're swapping from one, one ROM to another, I advise you, you wipe and start fresh. There you go, Cataclysm ROM. My name's Andy, I'll catch you all again soon.